craft your packets, not just running a, an Nmap scan, not just for you to discover uh, open port. How do you craft your packets? How do you conduct some form of uh, maybe SYNAC? How do you flush your target with a SYNAC? Maybe if you want to go further, if you want to evade the firewall, that is the way you can craft your packet. Because that is a bit of a wet teaming. You must be able to, to work in a state, in a state, uh, you must be very, you must be steady as much as possible. So that uh, uh, the IDS will not be creating noise on the ideas and firewall. And if you create noise, uh, easily what you are doing can easily be stopped by the blue team people. So the essence of wetting is for us to be able to test the effectiveness of the system or the effectiveness of your of the control that has been put in place, the effectiveness of the to test the effectiveness of the of the people or the technology and also to test the effectiveness of the processes that have been put in place to safeguard your organization. So let's start, let's take a look at some options that HP offers in order to both craft packet and set specific TCP flags. So before I proceed, so in uh in uh, because HP3 comes with uh with your Kali uh lineup. So if you are using a normal uh a normal uh operating system like uh Moto Linux, you might need to install uh the 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 command utility. I think by now we've uh, demonstrated different ways by which you can install uh, different uh, tools that are not available. But for the sake of this class, I strictly recommend that we let's leverage on our Kali because there are a lot of uh, tooling that you can leverage on when it comes to Kali. So let me just quickly run us through. I'm going to switch to my machine, to my Kali box. So let me, uh, should I create a, form, a new terminal? Sorry, my system is frozen there. So for us to know more about the various utilities that come with HPink, what you just need to do, my system is closing again. Okay, sorry. Let me... You just type HP drink dash H. So this is a help uh, for you to understand how to leverage on this that different that can be done with this HP drink there, HP train. So you use dash S if you want to set up the base box. You use dash P. If you want to uh, for the, uh, the destination port, you use dash K if you want to keep still source ports. So if you you can take your time if you want to send a uh, same flag, if you want to send send a same flag, if you want to send send a TCP flag, 
use dash L. You're going to send the push flag, use dash P. You're going to send an arc flag, use, use dash A. So these are the various, uh, so you can just take your time and uh, go through how this thing works. So this are what this is what I'm I was trying to explain in this uh, in the presentation. So now let's just quickly do a simple. Let's do a simple packet. Let's send. I told you that if you want to send a sync packet, so in your lab you can try the various go through the help menu and send the different packet. This, uh, but for this, let's just quickly send the TCP uh, sync act packet. For you to send the TCP act packet, you type HP3, HP3 dash S. You specify the IP address or the host, uh, the host name. Uh, so then you put dash p and put 80. So because if you don't put a flag of 80, you specify the port. Dash p means that you want to specify the port. If you want to send a TP sync packet on port 80, you put, but if you don't specify the port, HP, HPing will be sending that TCP sync to port zero so you need to be very specific so let's just quickly demonstrate that So what I just need to do, the system is, I want to send a sync packet. Let's send it to our host, com. So if I do not specify the port, the sync packet will be sent. Uh, it will assume port zero. You may not be able to get uh anything reasonable from there so but if i want to stop this command i can press ctrl c so let me be specific this time i have dash e on ports 80. Uh, so that's that. So that's the packet. So for me to be sure whether I've actually sent the same packet, I can use my Wireshark to capture the packet. So let me stop this.
So if you look to the packets, I'm trying to clear this. Uh, wow, my system is, uh, I think I need to restart my Kali. Okay, I think my wire shark is on. So let's look at the packets from the wire shark, whether we'll see something related to Saint Arc. So let's take note of the uh of the IP address. I think I have an IP address 18. Let me go back to my wire shark. You look at it, you can see that this has some of this IP. You can see these are the TCP protocol that was sent. Let me zoom this. So you can see this is sync. You can see series of sync act being sent is flooding port 80. Because if the HP3, it will keep running if I don't stop it, because it will keep running. And uh, if case not taken, it might read down my system. I think I, I you know that I've run a series of uh, uh, attack um, on the on that particular port. So that's why it's what is running down my system. So you can see a lot of sync, uh, uh, TCP sync act pack that's been sent. So if you want to stop that so that uh, your target would not be overwhelmed, you press control C. And if you want to be very specific about the number of uh, uh, packet that you sent, so you can see from this from the from the Wireshark, we we're able to see a lot of sync act. So. The target response we think this means that the port is open, that that port 80 is open. If the target did not respond, so that means that the port is, is closed. So if you want to try whether a particular port is, instead of using that, you can use HP thing. If I want to know whether a port is, you want to be very sure, just send an async out, async, and uh, just send a TCP uh, sync and sync um, packets. So if you send a TTP sync, so then we need to respond with your sync act, which is uh, uh, acknowledge, uh, uh, sync and acknowledgement uh, it will be, uh, the acknowledgement uh, flag. So if the host is closed, you see a lot of RST. So if I use, uh, if I use uh, uh, a port that is not available, I think we can quickly try this. Let's say I try port uh, another horizon port called port 90. So you can see you come back here. There's my wire shark. You can see that's not uh, Unlike this previous one that was, we are seeing a lot of, a uh, uh, lot of uh, same arc message, but this time around, we are seeing RST. So that means that the, that particular port 90 is closed. So that's another way by which you can craft your packets and, uh, and also, also craft in such a way so depending on the, you know, last uh, time we discussed about the TCP and she actually and she can we also discuss about the different, uh, different uh, flag that can be sent. So it depends on what you want. So if you want to embed the firewall, 
uh, maybe you want to upgrade the, uh, you can set, use this HP thing. So depend on how you craft your package. So let me just stop the, the flooding. So you can see it's now returning, it's returning with an RST flag. So let's do uh, port 80 again. If you want to restrict it to the number of, to the counts, maybe I want just want to do first for, I just want to set, send for sync. You, you put dash C and, and you specify that number. You can see that it stops at, uh, at uh, number four. So if I didn't specify the number, it will just do an infinite uh, sending of sync. So, uh, so you can use this command. If you want to do it aggressively, you can also use it to create a basic uh, denial of service on your target. And also you can also use that command to depend on what you want to use to evade the firewall room. So that's how to craft the packets. So we suggest you use a Wireshark to better understand what occurs when you run this command. So because you have a better view if you use a Wireshark to view this top, you can see for a product that is closed, you receive an RST response. So since HP we keep sending the packet until we manually stop it, we can alternatively instruct the tool to send a fixed number of packets. To do this, let's add this option dash C. That's the reason I added that dash C. Dash C means can't. So that op option tells HP to send uh four numbers if you put four four numbers of packets and then stop if you put five send five numbers of packets so that's what is being demonstrated here on this on the screen so and always remember if you do not specify a port hping will send your your packet to port zero so and if you send it to port zero nothing uh, happens. So for you to test for port data available, you specify it to be for you to be not sure whether a particular port is open, you specify the port number. For example, if I want to run a, a scan, HP scan on the on 192.16.0.14, and I want to restrict it to port 445. So you can uh, so, because if you are testing for port, you don't need to send an infinite loop number of uh, of uh, of packets. You need to limit it to three or to one or two. So this is demonstrated here on this screen. So when we send the packet to port zero, the flag set an array. Array means we set an acknowledgement. No service list mean on port zero. In the second screenshot, however, we receive this flag SA. You can see, look at the, sorry. Let me go back to my, so if I, if I display the five port number, So in your demo, you can try try different and leverage on the help men and the help uh, functions. Just type HP three that's H. Practice various the uh, uh, various the uh, flag. You can try sending a apart from you sending a sync. You can send a Act, you can send a different uh, uh, different flag so that uh, you get used with the response. So you can see that the first one that I send this reset just as I've explained on my uh, uh, 
reset how it means reset an acknowledge. As it means sync an an acknowledge. You get so that's the how to leverage on that 